just days before she vanished. Yet Flores Narvaez is missing. Where is the showgirl? Debbie Flores was last seen in her car. That car has been abandoned, but it is a maroon 1997 Chevy Prism four-door tip line, 702-828-2907. Let's go to Arnett in Mississippi. Hi, Arnett. Hi, Dan. Thanks for taking my call. You're welcome. Uh, my question is concerning the text message. Is it possible that she was telling her mother that her ex-boyfriend was not her best friend? You know, that's, the, that's how I interpreted yeah, it the too. first time I read it. Let's show everybody, in case there is ever an emergency with me, contact Blue Griffith in Vegas, my ex-boyfriend, not my best friend. Pat Brown, criminal profiler, how do you define that? How do we interpret it? Well, I think that is a very good way to interpret it. And I want to point out how a per person of interest is uh, focused upon. We look at their behaviors in the past. We look at um, uh, their their um, opportunities that they have and their motive. And we have a guy here who has had uh, uh, this dif somewhat difficult relationship with the victim, uh, possible victim. And then we see this all this stuff happening right before he says, I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail. So we have a guy here. The motive is out there. And he has the opportunity because he's the last person to see, be seen with her. Doesn't make him the guy who did it, but that is why they focus on it. But they also have to be careful, you know, just sometimes that can look like the person, but it could just happen to be something completely different like a carjacking. I mean, so you cannot over-focus, but you, you know, obviously you have to follow all your leads. And Blue Griffith is not a suspect in the disappearance of Debbie Flores, although he has been charged with domestic violence coercion is the actual felony charge facing eight years in prison. Tonight, let us stop to